Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to open a mini verse, make it mini food. This is the Cafe Series 2. Um, and I have a surprise for you. I have a special guest today. I have my daughter here by me. Let's bring her in. There she is. Uh, so that's my big girl um, and uh, she actually uh, wanted to do this with me. I was kind of surprised because I didn't know that she wanted to do stuff like this. Uh, she haven't been making miniature for what? 12, 15 years now? 14. 5, uh, 15. Five, maybe 12. from six, 12 years. Anyway. She wanted, um, she actually found this one for me. She found two of them on a sale, so they were really, really cheap. And she wanted to open this with me and want me to make it in 1 to 12, and then she will try to make it in 1 to 12. So we are going to do that. Maybe she will do it first, because I don't want to show her how I do it before she do it. Anyway, we will see, and uh, let's get to the table and open it up. So we are going to open this one. Can you do that? Just because it's you that got me this one. Uh, I can try. Mm -hmm. I'm not... You're not what? I'm not that great at opening these. I don't even know uh, how to. I don't actually think anyone is, because uh, these chair tabs are not actually really doing anything good. So don't worry. Just go ahead. I'm making a lot of noise when you're trying to talk. Oh, no problem. Okay. That's a new <laughs> that ended up on the floor, and that one too. Okay, how so, to, how so do you I... have a tear tab right here. Yeah. And then you are actually supposed to go in here and kind of. Um, I, I can make it. I can make it. Yeah, I can't. Watch, watch the magic. I will or be, try on the other end. There I is. will be the first to make this work. <laughs> okay, and, no mind. And that one's also on the floor. Well, oh, nice. I tell you, I got a thing yeah, to this. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm best at doing so this. So now let's see if it's a double or if it's something new. And what is a double? Yeah, we will see. Oh, something you had before. So we don't need that one. Don't need that one. Let's see. Yeah, you're gonna clean that up later, my dear. Yeah, yeah. So we have a pink. We have a yellow, have a sunny day, we have another yellow. It's bubbly tea, I think. Mm. It Do we doesn't... need this one? Yeah, we need that one, so don't throw it away. And then we have the utility, and then we have a blue one. Keep it cool. Okay, she is opening the uh, how-to guide here. Oh, is that, the the, is that what it is? That's the how-to guide, and then you can see what things there is on there. You can't see what's in the but you can see maybe what you would like to get. Oh. But it doesn't tell you what you get. So now let's uh, open these. I always start, i uh, often start with this one. Open. No? Open, open. You open, can do that. Open, open. But I don't know if I'm in frame. And it's open, not open. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in frame. Oh, it's a spoon. It's we a like spoon that. And a light bulb. No, no, okay. not no a light bulb. No <laughs> this, this is the part for the dome, the top for the dome, like that. So you have the spoon. And then you have the tweezers. You take that out of the plastic and throw the plastic away. On the floor it goes. I don't like the tweezers. Then you take another bag. It and, says have a sunny day. Mm -hmm, and you open it there under the camera, please. It's perfect. But I don't know when I'm under. Yes, it's perfect. Just tear it. So that, ooh, sprinkles. sprinkle. I don't I haven't seen that yet, so that's a new one. Biggest. Okay, place that on the table. Yeah, I actually blue. think I know what that is, but let's see. I think we have a birthday cake, maybe. No. Open, Open that one. Just tear it. It won't uh, break anyway. What is that? Uh, some snacks. Popcorn? Snack snacks? Is um, that popcorn? Happy stuff. I have no idea what that is. It looks like popcorn. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it also looks like small ice cream subs. It's, it's, it's octopus marshmallows. Mm, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, it just says it's snack snacks on there. Okay, open the next one. I think it's, it's, it's octopus marshmallows. I think that must be a bowl. It was. Oh, that's a nice one. I think it's popcorn. No, no. Yeah, I do. No. I think it's popcorn. No, because we got ice. No, we don't have any ice. 
We have some glaze, glaze in a pink and, and, and a yeah the sprout as, as, or um, the okay. Let's go and watch this one. Did we get the uh, popcorn? wrong side? It's wrong, wrong side. Wrong, wrong side. side. Wrong side. It won. There it is. Yes, unicorn, unicorn popcorn. <laughs> this is not unicorn. Oh no, I hate making popcorns in miniature. This is not popcorn. No, it's they a, don't look like popcorn. It's, it's it's an octopus. But um, it is. No, it's an octopus. Okay. I do not agree. So what we're going to do, because I don't normally use a guide, is opening this one. I like it because it has not this little. Use a guide. No. Because I'm, whoops, better without, here it is. Oh, so no. we have this little cute thingy for the back, like the real thing. Let's you need to shove it up. Just shove it you up. Know, to, you need to really, you know, get it in there. Uh-huh, really I did. Cute, cute, cute. Oh no, I have to cut the back. Should you want me to get scissors? No, I have. I just didn't want to cut it. I think you have to cut it. Hello. That's a cat. I, I made... I All right. made and that draw, In just that yeah, draw. Put, pull that out yeah. and take the little scissor here, so we can open this one. I really don't think that should be that shouldn't be necessary. Let me try the old-fashioned way. Let's see if I can do it like this. I cannot. I have to cut it. No, 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 because I don't want to cut too much of the back, because I don't think we get uh, are going to use all of these. Oh. Wait, that means we have to make miniature popcorns. Uh huh. We can make them better. They look like small ice cream tops. No, no. Yeah, they do. It's a squid. Look, it's it's the yeah, octopus. Yeah, that might be. It's but a flippy, it's flip teddy yeah, bear. Yeah, you need to show that on the camera. It so looks that's like the flip teddy bear octopus, where yeah. one side is happy and the other mm, is not. Exactly, but these look more like small ice cream tops than popcorn. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I yeah. wanted to um, mix it all. Up. Mix it a tiny bit. So we're going to open this one. What is this? That's just the top of the um, box or the Be dome. Nah. Be careful. I know what I'm doing. Oh, this one has a top on there. The last one I had was without Faulty. this top. Oh, that's a nice purple color. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just stick it on it in there. there. Stick it in. Um, and then I don't actually know why we get this one, but let's to get use a it. more evenly thin drizzle. Um, no, no, we, okay. yeah, relax because we need everything to be um, sticking together, and we won't do that if it's um, kind of just one layer. So I'm just gonna pop in a tiny bit of this and then use a tiny bit of the glaze here to keep it co uh, connected it's, it's and then I'm gonna put this under my UV light and then we will be right back that's the first layer so now that's almost stuck to together <laughs> and then we just take a scoop more shake it up <laughs> and then we are doing the same thing Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then... That is gonna go onto the light. Under the light. So that's one more layer and that should now be almost stuck. One fell out. And we're gonna do this one more time. One more time. Yeah. One, one more, more time. time. Anyway. Um, I think we're gonna we need the spoon. put the spoon in here somehow. It's make not the, um, make the spoon look wet. So I'm um, popping a tiny bit here at the side. If there's more in this little thing, there was placing make it, make the spoon it into it. Make it look wet. And then a new drizzle. Drizzle all the sauce on the spoon. No, because we need a layer more to make it um, kind of tubby. And also to be able to uh, put the sprinkles on there. So I'm just gonna put this into the lamp and then we will be back in a few minutes. And we are back. Let's see if they're stuck. <laughs> Some <laughs> of them wasn't. This but the spoon, spoon, <laughs> the spoon, the spoon is sitting in there. Anyway, I think we are going to um, place a few of them here on the table and then just. Oh. 
pour some of that on and now this is coming in handy, my dear. She's making a mess. Yes, I'm making a mess. You do know that you're the eldest of us. Right? The oldest, oldest of us, but that's okay. You need to not make a mess. We need to do this more often so you can uh, learn to speak right. I know how to speak right. I just told you it's been a long time mm -hmm. since I have chatted with anybody on English. So let's pop this on top here. They look very cute now. Without touching it, because this is poison or uh, toxic. For your skin. Exactly. And you can come visit me at my work. <laughs> I work as a, a pharmacist a student, yeah. so I can sell uh, lotions and medicine and stuff like that. That's just the cat coming and talking with us. Be quiet, behave. You're interrupting. So I'm just uh, popping it in here, and now they actually look like they're cam caramelized. You're, you're popping it in there. We need we need a little more of this caramel thingy glaze. Let's see if there is more. Don't forget about the sprinkles. Yes, yes, yes. But I will do that last. But we need enough for the sprinkles. We know the sprinkles is coming in a second. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Oh, I just want more of this glaze on there. I don't think that there is much more left in this one. You just need to squeeze. Yeah. And then when we need more, we just put the, the lid off and then we dip the sprinkle in the lid. No, because we have enough here for the sprinkles. Oh, you need to put it on now. But yes. we need a, a bigger tub. No, that's more than enough. Oh. You want to put the sprinkles on? Um. No? Yes. Yeah? But how do I do that? I, I'm going to move this because this is dirty. But I want to use that because... No. No, that one. Okay. Yes, because if I if I put a lot of sprinkles on, it will look stupid. So I I should have put that in your in your. Oh, that's all fine. Oh, you want to place them like that? Perfect. Because if I just pour, then maybe there will be too many sprinkles, mm -hmm. and then it will look bad, and then I will mess up the perfect work that you just did. Uh, I did not do anything perfect, but I think this is like looking really nice. And there is more than enough sprinkles in there because the jar is kind of filled up to the top. There is a lot of sprinkles in there. I would have appreciated. I if really the sprinkle like these. Was yellow. No, not yes, yellow yes. to pink. Yes, yes. No. I'm not sure I like the shape of these popcorns, but I actually think this coming out really neat. <laughs> to be honest, I think it looks more like a bowl bowl of cereal. Yes, a breakfast then, cereal. The yes, popcorn. I agree. I totally they agree. They taste like strawberry and vanilla. But they are maybe strawberry and vanilla popcorn. <laughs> with some caramel, pink caramel glaze on there. Uh, how many do we want on this? I side? think if you want a taste of this, you know, you're going to take everything from the bowl at once. I actually think that's How many neat. do we need? Do you want more? Do we need more? No, I, I don't think so, but I will leave that up to you. We need more. Just don't touch the... And here where it's I still... I will not do the same mistake as a lot of other people. Yeah. I have a very educated mom. <laughs> who knows that this Just is don't put your hand in it because you have it right there. I forgot about that. But I haven't put my hand in it. Good. I want some on the spoon. I'm not in sure the there is any... Um, but you, we okay. have one We're in done. the spoon, but Maybe. I'm not sure there is any liquid in there or resin. Yeah, oh, there is. Oh, I can put more sprinkles in yes, the spoon. Yes, you can. Get down. <laughs> now that looks nice. It's not too many. Not yeah, too it's many. It's spoon. Okay, then we stop it right there. Wait, you don't want any more? Right yes. there in the middle? Yes. In the... In the <laughs> get in the middle. Yeah. Right there. And then, and then I'm done. I like to put one out here because it's quite empty out there. I think that's perfect. So now we're just going to put that under the UV light and that is it. And I want to clean this up because I want to get rid of all the resin on the table. It looks like bananas. Yeah, it could be. Anyway, we will be right back. So here is the result of the little craft we did. I think that turned out really neat. Anyway, um, let's shift over and start creating this in 1 to 12. So we're going to make um, this little guy here. 
And normally I would make this in resin, in yes. a 3D print. Yes. But we cannot do that because I don't want you to play with that. You could do it for me. No, because no? I don't have any more out there, so oh, okay. I don't have enough for it. So anyway, we're going to make one in um, a polymer clay. And we're going to use translucent clay, but it will get a milky look, so it's not as clear as this one. So I am going to uh, start with heating up my clay. Yeah. Yeah, and for I those am. that does not know, my daughter is sitting here laughing at me because um, I'm using one trick to heat up my clay that I never did tell you guys about. But if you are a lady, you have <laughs> a very nice spot between your um, boobs that kind of have a nice heat. Oh, so no. if you take your clay and stuff it in there for a few minutes, then you're actually heating up the clay very nicely. I remember I did the same uh, a lot of years ago when I ordered yeah. that. Uh, it's a nice trick. I actually heard someone saying um, I don't want it there because uh, then it is touching my skin. And I'm like, okay, but you're using your hands while you're creating, so it's still touching your skin. So having it in one place of the skin or another place of the skin, I think that doesn't really matter. Are you making the bowl for me? No. Is that where we are? No, I'm showing you how I'm going to make it and then I, I will you let you make it. You didn't so I have me. my, uh, I have my, no, actually something I won't show you, but here uh, it's okay. So I'm gonna use, I think, a six on my pasta machine. You just don't want to show me and how to I am going to put that straight through my pasta machine and now I need some kind of a blade. I have that here um, and I'm just gonna make a straight line here to work with and this one is around two centimeter height so in 1 to 12 we want it to be around a centimeter and it is around three and a half centimeter across so you want it a little more than one and a half, one six, one seven, one centimeter and seven millimeter or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to use this one because this has this kind of cone shape. Uh, it's a little more cone shapey than this one, but that's what we got. Um, so this one is two, so I don't want to go all up to the top. I'm gonna do it around here. And I'm trying to line up the top part of this clay so that it is nice and straight all the way around. And it's not... Are you telling me I have to do math? Kind of. But I don't know the size of these small... No, we will, we will do them later. Or the spoon, or the sprinkles. Relax. Or the sauce. So I'm going to take a tool and then I'm gonna kind of blend in the connection here. Um, and the reason why we are not doing this at the same time is because I only have this one mold. But I think everything else is going to be made at the same time. Are you going to put uh, pink stripes on it or are you going to cut out so then replace I'm it with I'm going pink to make pink stripes uh, with paint. Oh. See, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I just thought about always, the, always, the always take the um, easy, easy way. way around. I did not think about that. So I'm just kind of softening off? that out. That's no problem. For now, we are going to make it around the centimeter. So that's around there. I have it by eyesight. So that's around here. And then I'm just slowly. That's tricky. You have to make sure you don't move yeah. the line. Well, I have done this so many times that I'm pretty sure they will line up pretty well. So you're saying you're going to do that for me too? No, I'm not. Oh. So that's the first part. I am going to take this clay here and stuff it away. Stuff it. Because I need a little more of that. For the bottom? For the bottom part. So I see I have a kind of an indent here on my mold, which makes kind of an indent on the shape, and I don't want that. 
But anyway, I am using this tool to kind of loosen it. Yes, exactly. And get it off. Let's see if I can do that without ruining it. Otherwise you will have to bake it first, but I like to um, make the bowl before um, everything of the bowl before I bake it. You're a completion com well, completionist. <laughs> no. Is that a word? I'm a perfectionist. Perfectionist. No, I'm not. Um you get that one. Thank you. That is my and name. there is clay right here. Wait, I'm supposed to do it now? Yes, you're supposed to go ahead and um, don't cut into the box. Take a, um, a glass plate, just like I have here. She is sitting here next to the side of me. Actually, I would like her to kind of scoot over and come into the frame. I don't know what the frame... Um, the I, frame is right here, oh, my dear. But Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, I know that you don't. So I'm just going to go um, with the... I'll clay through my pasta machine again. But you cheated. You preheated your your your, your polymer. Cake. Yeah, you can start heating it up. Just make a cut and then stuff it together, and you can get the rest of this when I'm done. So I'm trying to find. I'm gonna make this heated off camera because it's easier. Yeah, I'm trying to find a piece here that has the right surface of uh, the bottom surface oh. here. I think actually that is perfect. And then you can get this clay here. It is ready if you want it. Yes, that's why you need to heat it between ah. your boobs. Ah. Relax. It's falling apart into tiny yes, pieces. because it's hard. Um, here, Relaxing. use that one. Put but the that, other one is there. Is that enough? Do I don't know. Maybe put this one where you know it goes and then... Um, but I have been out for a walk, mom. Yeah, I don't care. Ah! I can't do that. I can't do it. Mom. Yeah, I mean, it I'm is not too, saying uh, anything. It, it is too not then, then tight. It's, then it's, <laughs> it's too loose. Then it's difficult it's to loose. harden it. It is not enough. I think it is. No. You just need, uh, yeah, because you only need a centimeter thickness. Yeah, but I and also that, need to get one. one, yeah. one put it on the table here instead so you need to go in I'm gonna help you but um I'm not gonna help you all the way no this is not enough it is no I'm telling you it is it's not believe me please I don't. you want you want to do this or not I do but so that is not here enough. we go now you just wrap that around this cone here just like no, I did you have yes start with what I'm doing do what I tell you to no <laughs> No, not so much complaining from you. But it's not right. Yes, it is. No. I'm telling you it is. You will see that I'm right. I need to sneeze again. I've been sneezing all day and I need to sneeze again. Well, then, well, then, then I will have to stop the camera so we don't uh, blow the Achoo. ears of people. No. Oh. Oh, no. I already made the first mistake. Uh, okay, don't under look. the camera, oh. my dear, so we can see what you're doing. I, I'm, I need to see what I'm doing. Oh, you can place the knife there so it doesn't disappear on us. Very knife loose. I need, I need to uh, go do that and I'll be right back. I'm not going, I'm doing it. And she makes it look so easy. She makes it look so easy. Is that straight? Does that look straight? I don't know. It's not. It's not, it's not straight. It's, it's not straight. No. No. How did she make it look so effortlessly? I'm not. It's because she cut my clay wrong. It's all her fault. And I'm back. Look how much clay you have left over there. How about you just <laughs> shush? Might it be because your mom know what she's doing? I think you should shush. Um, yeah. You want this one no, instead? No, okay. no, I got it. Just... Okay, okay. 
go away with your professionalism. I told your your viewers that you cut my clay wrong. That's why I can't have a straight edge. You cut it wrong. It's not real. It's not straight. Well, luckily they know that you're not right. So I'm right. You're wrong. I'm not scared. <laughs> How did you get it to fit so seamlessly? Mm -hmm. I got fruit loose on my brain. Oh, that's why. Yours is flat, mine is not flat. Huh? Yours is flat, mine isn't flat. Mine is an arrow. That's because you... Uh, uh. Come on here, let me teach you no. something. Come on, P, stop. I told you yours is flat right there. Yeah. You can, you can use that as well, but um, I like this but one. But yours is more flat, mine is like an arrow, uh, mine is but You out. can still use this one. Okay, stop. It's my project. And then, and then make sure that everything is kind of flush with the mold. It's my project. I know. I'm just helping now you out a bit. Now you made my bowl. There you go. Actually, I didn't. That's just the rim of the, the bowl. Food. I got, I got... Yeah, I can hear that. I got stuff in my bowl. But please don't sing it anymore. I don't want it to be uh, demonetized. I can make my own song. No, don't. It's not straight. I don't like it. I need to get the bottom part here uh, to sit onto uh, the top rim, and it is kind of uh, teasing me right now. I'm sorry. Should I make no, you uh, don't be. get copyright? I'm just trying. To somehow line up the bottom oh, piece it here. Oh. I also got a straight line. See? Okay, I didn't get a straight line. But <laughs> I think it looks fine. And then I'm just carefully trying to connect the bottom part to uh -huh. the top part. And yeah, we're working, that's why it's quiet, so sorry about that. This is concentrating, the sound of concentration. The battle of mother-daughter. <laughs> Relax, there is no battle anywhere. Oh, you know, because if there was, you would be winning. Uh, yes, I think so, but maybe not, we never know. I think, I think you should let your viewers decide. <laughs> Have oh. mercy on me. Yeah, we will see. I think they will like your creation as well, Pete. No worry. I am kind of happy with this. I just don't like the way that the bottom part is not... Um, rounded enough here. Uh. Yes. <clears throat> Relax. No. Yeah. I made it tear. Uh oh. You want help? No. I'm a Gucci. I can do this. I have been training. Yes, you can. I think I am going for some um, bacon bond here. Just a tiny bit around the rim. Hmm. There you go. It's not out. Now you take the wrist clay and pop that through the pasta machine. Careful, it, careful, need careful. Need to make it more wide. Yeah, better, better leave it or you lose it completely. Mine is not that wide anyway. You, you need one more thing to your bowl. No. Yes, because it also has. It goes outward. Yes, I know, but no, not right now. No. I don't want to make it now, because then I just oh, ruin everything. Oh, you want to bake it and then make it? Yes, bake it and make it. Bake it. That's your new motto. No, that's not it. Welcome to the Bake It and Make It Show. 
Well, sorry about her humor. I hope you can survive. You do remember you're my daughter. You're my mom. I'm, I'm your daughter. Yeah, good. Great. You do mm -hmm. remember you're my mom, right? No, I don't. Yeah, you are. Right now, I don't. Yeah, you are. I'm just popping in a tiny bit of bacon bond around the bottom part here to make sure everything will stick together after baking. And I don't think we will see this when it's all done and the popcorn is in there. So. Why don't you use this one? Oh, because I didn't know you had them. I actually showed you. But I was too focused. I'm not sure this is the right size, but you will have to um, it is I just remove that little part there. It should be. How did you get it to stick? Uh, very carefully and delightful and small touches and a lot of patience. So everything about it, great. Oh, sorry about that. You wanted to do this video, I didn't. Well, I thought we would get something easier. Mm, what is easy in your opinion? Um, yeah? Hmm. A cake, a big cake, a big drink where you need to make the cup first and... I was about to say a teddy bear like you used to show me how to make... Yeah, but there are no teddy bears yeah. in these yeah, food I things. Know. I know. Take it easy. We have time. <laughs> I can't get it. Yes, to you go can. On the, no, because if I do, then it will just break on me. Mm. You need help? No. Tell me if you need help. I don't need your help. I would like to help you. I think I'm almost most ready for baking my little bowl here. It's not the prettiest, but it's working. You just say the word and I will no. help you. Yes. No. <laughs> Grabbing a wet wipe here. I love those. I need better glasses. No. Yeah. No. You sure you don't want my help? Yeah, because it's my bowl. Uh, but you're getting a very big bottom part, but okay, you can send that later. And now I have your head <laughs> on the shot, but that's okay. <laughs> She's very concentrated over here. This is going, you have, you're going to have to speed this up. Well, then we would sound like chick mon chick chip mon monks. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't stip, do that. Stip, stip. I got it all under control. It's going wonky. No, no. Yes, it is. Shh. I got it. I fixed it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is that the rest of the clay? No, I also have some movie. Yes, here. I see you placed it on the table. I don't like that. No, oh, not him. I can do this. I will do this. I will. I will. <laughs> I will come through. No, no that you was won't. Bad decision. No, you won't. What? No, you won't. No, I won't. What? You're. Oh, you're. No, no. You're I making the clay thinner and thinner, my dear. I got it. Okay. And now you have an oblong bowl. Head, mom. I don't know how you did that. I don't know what you have been doing here, but it, um... But you also cheated. You used liquid. Yeah, you are going to do the same in a second, I think. Because otherwise yours will fall apart as well. But it's easier if you uh, take it up and then pop the bottom on there and then... Okay. Uh, no. Yes. No, stop. But, but 
I think you're, yeah, you have kind of a, take the scissor for me, please. You have kind of a big um, hangover right here. Don't use good scissors for this. Use old ones. Um, can you take that off? Yeah. <laughs> it's just clay. There you go, my dear. Did you take all the clay? Yes, I did. Let me take that on as well. Thank you. But I want to now you can alcohol. take a tiny bit of this bacon bond. Squeeze! Yeah, it's really, really, really hard to get out. And then you take one of the smaller dotting tools and then you just take a little of it and put it around the inner edge to strengthen it a bit so that it will stay together when you uh, uh, when you have yeah. bacon it. No. Relax. You can do it. And I think you will do great. Uh -huh. Thank you for the confidence. Always. Don't you have enough? I do. You can get more if you want to. I, ju I just have to make do. I feel my hair hitting your camera. Um, yeah, I think you are. But I'm thinking you're okay. Are you ready? No. So we're just each making a tiny brim for um, the little bowl here because the original has kind of an edge here and my daughter said that earlier. Um, remember it needs to go all the way around the brim of the bowl. I think I'm ready. I just wanted to take a risk, Clay, but I'm not gonna do that. Yours is a lot thicker than mine. Yeah, that's not, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just in her face as I wanted some of the tools. Maybe we should place them a little more in the middle here so I can read some as well. I think that's better. So I'm going in with some bacon bond here. For some reason this is really really hard to get out of this bottle. She will figure that out later. And I'm just taking a tiny bit of this if I can get it to grab here. And placing it, and I'm using bacon bond because it's more glue-like than a female liquid, and I want this to um, stick where I place it. Yeah, you rolled it too thin, my dear. So I'm just popping on a tiny bit all the way around. Um, of course, uh, soft clay or non-baking clay cannot stick to baked clay so we need kind of a glue between the unbaked and the baked clay and I'm using the bacon bond for that. 
Was that your way of telling me that I need to use pagan bond? Uh, that is one way of telling you that if you want it to stay put and stay together, you might need to use a tiny bit of bacon bond. But don't overdo it, because if you overdo it, you will have some splashes of it sitting where you have your brim and you don't want that. So I'm all the way around. You're so fast. Yeah, because I am normally doing this uh, kind of almost every day. And again, you haven't been doing this for at least 12 years. I'm so slow. No. You just need to find your own rhythm and then uh, do you. Do me, do you, do everybody. What? No singing. It was no song. This was no song. Okay, but no singing. Okay. I'm concentrating. What do you think I am? Not concentrating. Um, I think you're out of frame but, but and you're working on my not working surface and everything is okay. We will manage. You will manage. It will work out somehow. I don't know how. My, my, but it will. Mine is wobbly. It's so wobbly. With it. Yeah, it's but like that's stupid. you can always uh, sand it a tiny bit. So wobbly. We don't want to paint it before we are all done because then we will uh, break everything. Uh, uh, Relax. You can do it. You can do it. I'm just making sure that this little brim here is scribbing. Oh, you could have some of mine if you want to. I think I have enough. to be a little more cohesive here on the top so I will try to work a tiny bit with that I'm sorry for my sniffling oh. well I think you have a summer flu or maybe you're just allergic to my work no no I'll be right back. Yes, okay. This is tricky. I know. And and then how did you make it stick? You just rolled it on? I just put it on the the bacon bond will make it stick. And now I'm thinking if I should make mine smaller. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not. Are you saying that to help me or to oh, I don't oh know. no, oh no. Relax, put it down. Put it down like I have here and then uh, twist it around. Exactly. I don't like this at all. I think it's good. Uh, I actually need you to come a tiny bit more into the camera. There you go. It's not working. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. And then you just have to. We just cut that off. And then we have to figure out how long it needs to be around there. And then, oh, I think it's a bit too long still. And then you just uh, make sure it looks nice and neat together there. And it keeps on falling off. That's because you don't have enough bacon bond. I think I got it everywhere else than where it needs to go. Oops, put that away. Go away. <laughs> Take it off. Just do it. 
There it is. I'm gonna take this for you. Now just do your rim. Hi. Why did you take it off? Wasn't I supposed to do it? I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you use your fingers instead? That's a lot easier. So, I think I'm ready with mine. And you just use your fingers? Yes. To, to um, kind of make it um, sit on there. Um, Would it be an idea to just let it bake like that? Yes, and we will, but I'm just gonna make sure. Oh no, it, it fell on, over on that side. No, that's because you didn't put it all the way down, my dear. This is not falling anywhere. Can You want to uh, finish it yourself? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. No. No, don't worry. I need to be in fame also. Huh? I have a newfound respect for your career. Huh? My career. <laughs> your YouTube career. You, might, you mean my work? Yes. Yeah. It's not that easy, huh? <laughs> to remember to be in frame. Yes, you need to do that. So you need to actually go a little more into the frame. You are out of the frame. Yes, perfect. And I'm just gonna overtake your frame. It's all fine. I'm done. <laughs> Should it be you and explain that I'm just trying to make it all up mm, to the top? It's all fine. So we need a spoon and for that I have some grey clay and that should be enough for both of us here. Are we going to use the dotting tool then to make the indent? That's all up to you. Um, I'm gonna take and then you can do it later. So we have the original spool here, it's original, oh, original spoon here and I am just gonna measure, oh this is a very very big uh, spoon, four and a half centimeters so that's really really big I'm not sure I want to make mine that big um, so four and a half that's two point something um, I think around I think around more like half one and a half centimeters so what I'm doing is I'm first cutting the clay into the size I want it to and then I am going to cut my shape So that's one side. I'm still a little bit confused about how you do the math. Well, that one is uh, just a second. I need to concentrate a bit. <laughs> so this one is uh, supposed to be in one to six, but that's a very, very big yeah. uh, one for a one to six. Yeah. Um, so if this is one to six and this is one to twelve, yeah. Then this is the double size of that one. So the double of 6 is 12, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this one is the double size of 1 to 12. Because 1 to 6 is small, but 1 to 12 is smaller than 1 to 6. Okay. So, and it's a half size. So half of 1 to 6 is 1 to 12. Yeah. The math <laughs> is mathing, but... Um, <laughs> math is my favorite subject, Mom. No, but it's still um, very necessary here and there. So I'm trying to make the shape of my spoon equal on both sides. And now I'm showing her how I do this, but um, she actually needs to do it herself in a second. So I'm just making sure I like the uh, weight of my spoon. I'm not all happy about it. So I shaped my spoon as I wanted to and then I am taking a dotting tool and making the spoon. You make it look so easy. It is. You can take the clay and start um I washed my fingers by the way. That's all fine. How 
how did you make your handle look a little bit thicker than you did to begin with? Um, I cut it like that. Yes, okay. I just need to try them. Yes, you do. Uh, let's move that one so you can be there. That was a pasta machine. I just put that away. So we have room for working. Uh, don't put it out there. Leave yeah. it on the glass plate. Oh, yes, sure. I, knew, do you I used one and a half centimeter, so that's around here. Around I here? can see the mat underneath here. Oh, one, one of these so is one. So that is one centimeter, and that is one. Oh. Oh. Don't you have a mat like this at home? Um, a tiny one. Then you should know. And then how big do you make the spoon head? Um, one third of the length. So, so. Well, um, you might even make yours nicer than mine, because I'm not that happy with mine. Uh, we can switch if it is. I like yours. Yeah, but that would be cheating. Maybe. No. But only if it we would tell. Be only if we tell them that we switch. It's still, it's still cheating, telling or not, it's still cheating. But that is only if we tell them that it is mm -hmm. that we switched. No. Did you get the uh, bowls out of the Yes, oven? I put them out of the oven and Perfect. Over. And then I need to pick it up. <laughs> Do not laugh at me. But you made your handle look so nice and round. Well, I took my time with uh, shaping it. That might be the reason for it. I actually think yours is pretty neat. You just need to tighten it up a tiny bit. Watch your fingers. <laughs> I've more damage than it did what I wanted it to. That's because you don't uh, go all in. You're just kind of poking instead of uh, actually cutting. Yes, shape the clay, shape the clay around it instead of just trying to poke it through. Like that, yes, exactly. And if you squash it like that, you will get a bump on the underneath side. Just saying. Bump on the what? You're getting a bump underneath here when you're squishing it like that. It's because I have a fancy spoon. Oh, okay. Personally, I like to do that with my fingers so I can feel the clay. This way I can feel how much I can bend it and move it without breaking anything. But I would like it to be clean because I don't have a clear hair. Mm, I'm not sure you can do that now. I can and I will. Please get your head out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was in frame. It's all fine, it's all fine. But it is actually kind of hard making sure that the things that mm -hmm. need to be in frame is in frame. Oops. Yeah, it's really difficult sometimes, especially when you are in the mood and just creating. And then I need to, to get up there. And then There you go, there you go, relax. There you go. And then maybe shave it a tiny bit before you make it all. Before you. Did you say shave it? it shape it. Oh, okay. I heard shave it. Yeah, right. I was, I was about to ask you how I was supposed to shave it. You go it. shave it. 
Are you happy? Uh, uh don't touch mine. I'm not happy. Uh, best po uh, be careful when you do that because you can um poke it through the um plate. But I'm a little bit afraid because it have a tiny um, what is it called in English? Uh, uh a little um now I forgot the word as well. Yeah. It, it does matter. A tiny break. A yes. tear. It's a tear. It's a tear. It was a tiny tear. Well, then maybe you shouldn't f um, Fart fumbling more. around anymore. I should just let it be. Yeah. I think oh, you no. should. Okay. I'm letting it be because now we it can, broke another piece. We can piece. always sand it a tiny bit. And then, and then. May I come in a, a second? Yes, Mom. Show me the ways. I'm just trying to shape the outside space here a tiny bit more and then carefully I'm kind of twisting uh oh, you're twisting it. the um uh, the tool the dotting tool to get it off and it's kind of but now it's a little bit yeah, more long the clay is um getting soft You have already helped me more than you wanted to in the beginning. I know. Now uh, you're seeing that like a surgeon. Actually, I think it's cool. <laughs> but I'm I think it's cool. To the, uh, because I want a tiny little... I want it like a lift and then a down like a lift thing. And that might disappear if we don't support it while baking. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm, uh, it's fine. Again, it's easier if you use your fingers. And for this one, I am going to find my uh, ceramic vat. Because um, these things bake better. And without these weird spots when you bake it on the ceramic wet. You have such a good spoon. So, now for the popcorn. They are a tiny bit big here. I gave you a pink piece and a white piece and we have the same amount of clay here. So now make <laughs> it count. Now make your popcorns. And you're not going I'm to not gonna it. show you how I'm gonna do it. But well, you're making it the same time as me. Yeah, yeah, but you need to do it just as I am. Ow! And without um cheating. Yes. Well, this is not an exam. So that was actually the bowl. I think it turned out really, really neat. I might have to sand mine a tiny bit. It has this shiny uh, top thing. I don't like that. I would also like to shine. Yeah. Not to shine, shine mine, it, but to to sand it. To sand it, please. Yeah. Oh, you're making well, you need to find out what you're gonna do. You can't <laughs> just sit there and wait for me. I know what I'm going to do, but I also need to make my clay hot enough. It should be. It has stars in the bottom. The popcorn. Stars? Yes. It has a little tiny star. Oh, it has. I don't know if you can see that there. There is kind of like a little star in the bottom of that one. I'm not going to put that into my popcorn. No, no. You just make your popcorn because <laughs> we want it to look a little more realistic. But I still like how you uh, told that we have the same amount of clay. So that if I don't make as much popcorn as you, then well, because you there's something wrong. You should get the bowl filled and then have a top on it. So high expectations. Definitely. <laughs> just do your working. I'm trying. I am trying to do my working. So I hate mop making popcorns because uh, they are not that big and you just have to make so, make so many of them and I'm just going to make room for the knife to lie there. You're just going to make small bubbles and then you're just going to uh, mess around with them until they have a lot of crevices. And then uh, today you have popcorn. 
And then to die, tada! You have popcorn. Yes, tada! I'm gonna take this to bake them on, and I'm gonna place mine over here. So I really want to say what I'm doing, but um, <laughs> I have a video on how to make popcorn, so I'm gonna leave that in the info box below. And then I'm just going to do it like that without saying a word about it and um, then we'll see what she comes up with. I don't want my daughter to know how to do it. I don't want to tell her and you could have watched the video easily because um, oh, okay, you okay. do know all where all my videos are. So uh -huh. um, that is going to be a your you problem and um, yeah. Well, 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 well. I, I was busy. Uh-huh. I was busy doing So that's doing your nothing. bad excuse? Prepping. Prepping? Prepping. Why are you doing prepping? For my exam. Oh yes, I'm that's busy. right. Um, but this is a very old video, so that's still a very... Oh, okay. So not a good enough. No. Okay. I was busy with other stuff. Definitely. Always. Always busy. It might not always be a good... Uh, Good business, but I'm always busy. Do I need to use arm my clay, you think? That's, uh, I'll leave that up to you on how you do it. You might find another and better way than I am. But, um, I'm gonna leave it all up to you. But now I was asking you. I know. A very serious question. I think I'm gonna uh, use all my clay if that's gonna help you anything. Well, you, yeah. Well, I would. Well, you can use that for other projects too. The popcorn that you made here today. Yeah. I oh. have to take that out of the oven. Yes, please do that. Of the oven. Thank you, my dear. I'm starting by rolling out all of my clay mm. so that it is ready for me to use. Perfect. No, no one says that yours is not better than mine. We will see when they're all done. You might even have a better idea than I have. I have no idea. I think I'm just going to wing it. Oh. I also do not know how big these popcorn should be. Not that big. Around half the size of uh, the one from the set. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I thought you were about to say about half the size of the real ones. No, that would be not right. That would be too big. Uh, what happened to the other one? Oh, that's out in baking. Because I want you to put that on the other tray so that you know what is yours and I know what is mine. I um, think I will be waiting for it to cool down a little bit. Now. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Are you gonna color your popcorn with chalk? No, because I have my colored popcorn right there. And to give it a little bit more shading. Oh, I don't know. I'll then you could color your popcorn with like a warm grey or a warm brown. It's and more yellowish. It, yes, and then a dark ish pink to give it dimension. No, I don't think uh, we no? need that. Because um, you might need that then you uh, say so. If you want it, you can do that. I have the soft pastels right here next to me so you can do so if you want to. I think it's not necessary. Okay, here we go, Mom. Yeah, go ahead.
This is going to be... Uh, I have a oh, ball yeah, tool more if you want it. What? I have a ball tool more if you want one. Maybe. I think there is one down in the, there. In, in here? Yes. And also had to be in frame, but also see what I'm doing. It's exactly. Nice. <laughs> How am I? Uh, let me, and you can get here. Oh no. <laughs> I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, you can always just... Uh, Scrap it and then do it again. It's not a biggie. And then and then I need to stick these two parts together. And then I have one popcorn. There you go. And then I need to go out and then you look by me. What? You looked after what I do. No? I, I think you did. Two I think you did. You do? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. I have our spoons. That's good. I know which one is mine. I should know which one he shows. My spoon is too small. Uh, no, it's not. It just felt splashy into my. Yeah, mine did too. I'm a little bit afraid that because I haven't put these popcorn like all together, they're gonna fall into pieces when I'm done. No, uh, they won't. You don't think so? So now we're just going to make our popcorns here. I am gonna end uh, recording that. So um, we will be back when we have made the popcorn. This will take quite some time. So um, yeah, I will see you. Well, we will see you a little later. So the popcorns are done. You have a really big one right there. Oh well. Uh, I think they look nice. So next step is uh, you can take the other glass plate and we need to yes a little more in so we can we have a very awkward uh, work place here because normally I'm sitting straight for but she is like sitting at the end of the table so she has a little longer in but anyway we are going to make sprinkles now um, and I'm pretty pretty amazed on how uh, alike these two colors here are so I am going to take a tiny piece of this one Dude. I'm giving that to you and I don't need as much so all you do is kind of roll along thin strip and then we bake that. This is probably the most simple thing we have made. Yes, so far. <laughs> it's so a, far. this is the easiest part of it. The sprinkles is always so easy. So you want it thin but not uh, breaking apart like that. <laughs> ah! Well, actually, I think I have more than enough in this little piece here, so I'm just gonna save the rest for something else. No need to make a thousand sprinkles. So you have more than enough there, my dear. Wow. That's my sprinkle. Bring in this little nice tray here. It's all fine. But it's getting a little bit. Thin. I'm going to take mine and place that right there. I 
I think you have more than enough in that piece anyway, so no biggie. I just need it to be thin enough. This is uh, this is big sprinkles. Mm. Right now. Then you can make circle sprinkles <laughs> instead circle of sprinkles. the yeah instead of the long ones. You would just uh, cut them into small circles instead. Either. No, because we need to make What's it uh, look like it. Ah. Perfect. Uh, and then you can put that into the oven and we will be uh, right minutes? back. Five minutes. Five minutes. And we will be right back. So we got the sprinkles baked. And I only have one knife so we will have to do it one by one. But I don't want the end piece here. Cup it. So I'm just going to cut them into the size or the shape I want. I think mine are so big that I want them to be a little on the round side. So I'm just getting these small round sprinkles here. So they don't look just like the ones Oh, that will happen for you too. So I'm just cutting this piece here. I don't think actually, I don't think I need more than that. The knife for you, lady. Thank you. I think I need you a little more in the picture frame here. Sorry. <clears throat> and don't cut yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid. Don't be. Just cut. You're doing it wrong. Don't have to push so hard. Look, you need to go like this. You make it look so easy. It I don't is. want that one. I don't want... No. Mm -hmm. So place a knife on the board and then just kind of chop but with it. Also no, you're like... No. Yeah, let me show no, you no, again. I was doing what you... Yeah. I was doing... I just like to hold the yeah, knife. Yeah, but like you this. cannot do that while doing that. I mean... I you, ca try. you cannot. Oh, you are... Wow. But now you're shooting them all over when you're doing it like that. <laughs> now people can't see what you're doing. <clears throat> there we go. Hey! <laughs> You need you need to cut. I'm you're, not, you're just trying to stab it <laughs> and poke me with all these pieces. That's a fun part of it. Mm-hmm. I get to poke my mom. No. I actually think you have enough. I want them all. I want them all. You don't need any more. Yes. No, you don't, because you have more than enough. Look how little we have here. I'm actually surprised. The color is a little bit darker now when it's baked. That's always, always like that. So if you wanted them to be the exact same color, you need to put in a tiny bit, ugh, a tiny bit of white. I felt that on my legs as well. Um, anyway, I think you have more than enough there. Good. Um... Now I am taking my, uh, I'm putting that to the side. I'm taking my little bowl and then I made this little thingy thing that I kind of want um, to place in the center. I'm just taking a few things over here. Um, so I'm starting with just, just a tiny bit of uh, female liquid to place this little center part so you don't see that on the outside. 
And then I am going to pop my popcorn onto my work surface here. And I'm gonna move my sprinkles to one side and the popcorn to another one. And we did measure it before we showed you uh, this before we started here that we have more than enough popcorn. So I'm making my sauce with my Fimo liquid and then I have my soft pastels here next to me and we wanted it into a kind of a pinkish color so I'm taking a tiny bit of my pink soft pastel and then I am going to mix this together to make sure I have a color that I, that I like. Should I do the same? Yes. <clears throat> I actually think I want it to be a tiny bit lighter, so I'm going to take uh, a tiny bit of the white soft pastel. <laughs> yes, I know. But you also don't want it to come oozing down. So. I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to explode. No, my it, it's not going to. No worries. How much do I need? Do I need to stop now? Um, I don't know. I took quite quite a bit more than I thought that I needed. And when I'm ready, I'm just mixing my popcorn into this liquid Fimo. Ooh, I'm sorry. That was... Uh... No, that's okay. Use a knife. So I'm mixing all my popcorns into this. Oh, that helped. Getting them nice and uh, squished around into the liquid here. Can I use this tool for mixing? Yes, you can. This is fun. It's the easy part. It's the fun part. <laughs> So I'm taking some of these popcorns here and then just uh, dropping them into my bowl here. And you just said I had a big one, so I'm going to sort it Away. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It was this one, right? It's yeah, it's, it's kind of huge. Do I have any others? That are huge? No, I think that's perfect. So I'm just gonna uh, dip my spoon in this Fimo liquid here so that I'm sure it will stay where I place it. Did you put all of yours in there? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And... Then just stack my popcorn in this little bowl for the popcorn. <clears throat> Getting all the liquid with me, or trying to. really see that there, there is purple popcorns in there but there are we uh, did the no not purple pink we did the pink popcorn as well I still think it looks like a bowl of cereal yeah it does let me take a wet wipe here to clean the tool and then I'm kind of dipping the end of my tool in there and picking up uh, the sprinkles with that and then placing them where I want. So that tiny bit of Fimo liquid that I have on the tip of this tool is uh, kind of working as uh, a help to pick up my sprinkles. I think this is a fun build, but I've never seen this made anywhere in Denmark like this. Uh, you can get the caramel, caramelis, caramelized popcorn here as well, and also in different colors. But I've never seen this uh, unicorn popcorn thingy here. 
um, but I actually would like to taste it once sometime. And if I have uh, leftover sprinkles, I can save them for another project sometime in the future. If I want them in this color, I actually don't think I've seen sprinkle in this color. Looks good. Ah, stay put. Yours is nice and full. Uh, yes, but I was actually thinking um, that I might have put too much in. No, actually I think it looks great. And I was struggling with how I want my spoon to be. Oh yeah, I know that. Because my spoon is not the most prettiest one, so I kind of want to hide its flaws, but I also want it there. Yeah. So... Now you just need the sprinkles and then we are ready for baking. And remember to clean your tools while after uh, while after after working um with female liquid. This tool is actually very good at scraping it off. Mm -hmm. The plate. It is also one of my favorite tools. I can see why. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Careful because it won't harden before it gets into the oven so it might run for you in a way you don't like. I like it. Very nice, very nice detail. Okay, let me take that one and then. Oh, should I use the yeah, rest? Yeah, now of you the, dip okay. it into it because if you have too much on there, it will uh, it will stay on there and you won't be able to get it off on your creation. You don't want that. Very nice. I think I'm a little bit out of frame. Huh? I think I might be, have been a bit out of frame. No, uh, yeah, no. No, it's fine. That's too big. I think it looks fine. Then pick it off and then uh, place another one. <coughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And then sometimes when you're ready here, then we're going to bake them. And this time I'm just leaving them on the glass plate because uh, it's uh, gonna stay better there. Now it is ready. And that would be the last baking for this craft. Yay! Yay! So much sprinkles. You have more there than you have on this one. I really like this one. We need to taste this someday. So if you have the recipe for this one, please tell me, because uh, then I can try it out. <laughs> it disappeared. Your sprinkle? No, the big uh, clump of syrup that I put right there, it's gone. Cereal? The, the, the female resin. Oh, the big one I liquid, put right there, yes. It's gone. Yeah, it yeah I think it's... The bowl yes, right there. I think it did. It sunk That's in. That's a bit annoying. Oh, that's, that's the way it is. That's how it is. Are you done? Yes. <coughs> but you don't have that much sprinkle right there and right there. Are you sprinkling me? No. Oh, uh, you are. It, but it looks so empty right there because you had so many on the other side and nothing over here. I favor the other side. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, that's so? good. Now place it here and then we go bake. But do you want okay. I will be back in a minute. Well we will. <laughs> so 
we are back and all the liquid uh, ended up in the bottom part of our jars so well that's a problem anyway I have an idea um, because the shine also went away because you can see they're like shiny here and these are kind of all dry so I had the idea of uh, using some Fimo liquid um, glaze and then maybe again take a tiny tiny bit of my soft pastels here and uh, shove that into the liquid I'm just gonna move yours you can do it right after me and I'm just um, putting it out there and then kind of tapping that on I'm not sure this will work in any in any way but um, I actually do see the pink now I might should have made a little more of it I think you should have made more um, I don't want to dip my pencil into uh, into the pink because I don't want the pink in my um, bottle glaze. Please. Let's just mix that and then uh, you know what I'm gonna take another paintbrush where it doesn't really matter Now you can do the same for yours. Um, yeah. Just don't get pink in my glaze. I will not get pink in your glaze. This way they also get a tiny bit of shine back. There we go. I will go wash my paintbrush before it dries can on I it. Can I borrow it? No, you can take the one you got. The paintbrush over here? Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to use a little bit of white in mine. And a little bit of pink. Um, I'm afraid by the time you were ready to work with it, this one would already have dried. And I don't want my paintbrush to be ruined. I think you have too little, just like I had. You need to come a little more in the frame. Yeah, I think you might be right. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> oh, and I'm using these Faber Castell soft pastel. Oh, sorry about that. Soft pastels for this. Well, we are. You want more? Yes, please. Can I have more? Yeah, of course you can. I want it to be shiny. And then it's important not to get pink stuff in there. Yes, please. I think you have more than enough now. It needs to be shiny. It will, because it's glaze. It just needs to uh, dry first. Oh, you used the white? Yes, because then it doesn't get... It's still pink, but it's not pink pink, you know. Mm. It gets that milky white. Milky pink. Was Maybe. Ma very nice. Maybe. Why don't you scrape it directly into there? Now you have it all over. Because it went nicely when you weren't here and mm -hmm. then you weren't here because then you couldn't see and now it's not... Oh, uh, uh, so because I couldn't see it, it's yeah. my now now my fault. No, it's not your fault. It's, it's, it's just, it went nicely. Because I wasn't Before here. Before you were here. Mm -hmm. So it's my fault. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> 
I'm just saying I can't do it nicely. Mm-hmm. You can't? I you... can do it nicely. Okay. Trying not to put my finger in it. Mm -hmm. And when you're happy, you just go wash your paintbrush so that it doesn't dry on it. Yes. Now you don't get it anymore. It's okay. over. It's oh. over. Up to the sink. And I'm just gonna clean the rest off here. So that I have that ready for next time that I need the glass plate. And I'm gonna put that away. Because we don't need that anymore today. Subscribe, like, and ring the bell button. And she's back. So the only thing we need now is the pink stripes here. So I am going to take, I actually think that is almost the right pink. Remember to shake up your paint before you start with them. Um, I need a little more white in there. Just popping that in there. Um, thinking, taking this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There we go. Can you clean that in the piece of paper? Thank you. And now we just paint the lines on there. And I think there is more than enough for both of us here. <coughs> this is the hard part. Mm, I don't think so. Yes, because you need it to be equal size and go all the way around. Yeah. So you, get, you know. Now you need to sit still because you're moving the table. <laughs> when you move your hand, everything is shaking. And again, we are very concentrated. There's nothing in the bottom, which is perfect because then I can hold it on top and bottom of the little jar. And this one got a little crooked for me. There we go. And I'm just eyeballing these lines.
careful that you don't break the spoon when you do like that. Yes. <laughs> I think I can have two more stripes in here. So my stripes are not all equal, but I think when it's done you won't notice that. Yeah, they're not equal at all. But I think it will work. Then That was quick. <laughs> it's not the first time I've been painting anything or something. my last so I will run out and wash my paintbrush Last one. That's how it is. I think it turned oh. out really neat. But, oh, that's just the glaze. No worry. No, there's no glaze on there. Yes, there is. Go oh. wash yourself and the paintbrush. Yeah. You're not the first one. You won't be the last one. Because <laughs> we didn't. Then you would have gotten paint on your fingers instead. So we are going to let these uh, dry for a second and then I think we will glaze the bowl itself because it's not as shiny as this one. So um, we will leave it to dry for a few minutes and then we will be right back. So they have been drying and I'm going to use my female liquid glaze to glaze the outside of the little bucket. Um, I'm trying not to get too much on there but then still enough for it to go shiny. I think I have more than enough here. 
This will also make so that the paint will stay in place. And then I'm just going to do like that and I am going to give mine a tiny bit extra here on the top and then of course the rim of my little bowl here. I'm not going to touch my spoon because I like it matte. There we go. Careful that you don't knock it over. Yes. I need you a little more this way. Yeah, perfect. I'm a little bit sad because I actually forgot to uh, sand mine, my bowl. Yeah, me too. So no worry. If you really want it to look nice and nice at the nice nice and neat at the bottom here it's a good idea to sand uh, around it before you uh, paint and all that stuff um, and we didn't so I had yeah, a huge lump. we totally forgot that huge huge lump that's not that visible and I'm just gonna do what my mom did <laughs> and not touch my spoon Perfect. And then a little bit on the popcorn. You actually did that already. We like more on the popcorn. Yeah, but it needs to be able to dry as well. <laughs> it, it must be shiny. Yeah, but you, if you put too much on there, it will go milky instead of shiny. So that's a popcorn. So this is the one from the uh, Make It Mini food. Um, the original in one to six. Mm -hmm. 1 to 6 ish because the spoon is really really big for 1 to 6 uh, and then my version and peace version my daughter's version I actually think this was really really fun to do with you I had a lot of fun I also had a lot of fun that's good anyway I'm sorry that this video turned out so long um, but I didn't want to cut a lot of our uh, talking together away from the video and uh, P did uh, evolve a uh, allergic reaction to something the other day where we started with this so that why she is sniffling a tiny bit we are sorry about that yeah. um i will post a few pictures of the done results so you can see them from a different side and a different view when they're all dry so we are saying thank you for watching and happy crafting Um, today we are going to open a mini verse, make it mini, make it real, make it, make it, make it, make it something. <laughs>